Welcome back, my fellow degenerates. We all know that I'm what most would consider a bad person through my various war crimes and crippling substance abuse. And we can also assume that most of you are bad people because you watch my videos and hopefully enjoy them. But there is one thing, and one thing that even someone like myself would never even consider to fail to contribute to society. And that one thing would be returning my shopping cart when I no longer have a need for it because I'm not a fucking barbarian. Today I would like to present you with a theory that's very complex to me, and in my spare time I decided to dive a little bit deeper into it. The original theory is probably very old, but I discovered it through a Reddit post I saw on Twitter, and it's ruined my life for the last 24 hours. It states, The shopping cart is the ultimate litmus test for whether a person is capable of self-governing. To return the shopping cart is an easy, convenient task, and one which we all recognize as the correct, appropriate thing to do. To return the shopping cart is objectively right. There are no situations other than dire emergencies in which a person is not able to return their cart. Simultaneously, it is not illegal to abandon your shopping cart. Therefore, the shopping cart presents itself as the apex example of whether a person will do what is right without being forced to do it. No one will punish you for not returning the shopping cart. No one will fine you or kill you for not returning the shopping cart. You gain nothing by returning it as well, and you must do so out of the good of your own heart. You return it because it's the right thing to do, and it is correct. A person who is unable to do this is no better than an animal. An absolute savage who can only be made to do what is right by threatening them with a law and the force that stands behind it. The shopping cart is what determines whether a person is a good or bad member of society. The shopping cart theory to me seems like a distant relative of the well-known trolley theory, in which you're put in a position where you have to choose the direction of a trolley to kill five people or one person. Or in other scenarios, you, uh, um, you, uh, oh, yeah, um, choose capitalism or basic human empathy. But back to the point. The last line of this theory rings a lot of truth to me. It is very clearly the correct thing to do, and it takes mere seconds or a minute out of your day. And at the same time, you cannot be punished for refusing to do what is right. The answer is very obvious when stated like this, so I decided I should take to Twitter and ask some of my friends and family in a poll of sorts um, if they return their shopping carts. And uh, I started that. And just 12 hours later, I discovered that I cannot trust about 11% of the people in my life. Now, if I had the names of these people who voted that they would not return their shopping cart, I would personally hunt them down and remove them from society. This led me to an even more confusing and aggravating question. Who in their right mind actively fucking chooses to leave their shopping cart in the lot so it can block parking space for us decent human beings. Now the obvious answer would be Neanderthals, but in modern society, who is so horrible and lazy that they refuse to take 20 seconds out of their day to do the correct thing? Some people may say crackheads, but I am living proof that that is false. I always return my shopping cart. Some people do it because they simply do not give a single shit about the unspoken law society is built upon. And for those people personally, I would suggest the death sentence or exile from all human interaction. Audio video sync, camera died. As the post we read earlier stated, they should be treated as the animals they are. Now I'm by no means a good person and neither are the majority of the people I associate myself with. Now they could be liars, which I respect because I'm a master of manipulation myself. But that's not, that's not the point, that's not the point of the video. Shut the fuck up. I think I forgot the point of the video. Just kidding, I know. It was to shame the virgin bitches who refused to return their shopping cart for no fucking reason, you useless pieces of shit. Or maybe it was just to free myself of this parasite on my brain that has been attacking me for 24 hours. Plus, I wanted to make a video. In the next video, we will talk about the economic collapse of Venezuela. If you didn't hate this video enough to still be here, please take a second out of your day to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me, and if you don't, you will be cursed to stay in a Walmart parking lot forever. Thank you, goodbye. One, two, three, and four. Count what you have now. Don't count what you don't have.